What is this? Actually, it's a maki preparation. Hey guys, this is gold. Yes, wait, let me get some gold. This is strawberry coolie, like a nice. Okay. I know in Bangladesh you like spicy food. This is the wag you ribs. On that moment, we're going to put the coffee in and we're going to let it extract. Hello, guys, it's Rafsin Charban, guys. Today's video is super interesting because right now we're going to be trying the best fine dining restaurant in Dubai Mall. This restaurant is called Kata. It's a Japanese restaurant and you're going to be in Dubai. You're going to be in Dubai, but you're going to be in Japan. There's art graffiti and people who are going to say look Japanese. <laughs> and the best part, view of the Burj Khalifa. I hope you guys are ready for the kata experience. Not all about taste, it's all the senses. So okay. sensual, visual, the smell. So guys, bring it on. So we're inspired by the traditional Negroni, but we made our non-alcoholic version called Redroni. So infusion of juniper berries, red fruit, and a beautiful juice of forest berries. So we need to give it a shake, of course. Oh, in there? Yeah. Oh. And then what's oh. happened? Pour the infusion over, and Abin, my colleague, going to open the fennel. So all Very the fancy. juices are going Going to the fresh fruit. We're bringing a Japanese storm to Dubai. This is called our Sendai storm. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh wow. It's really cool. It's not. It's just creative. It's creative. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. So we work with dry ice. Here in this beautiful carafe, we have an infusion of matcha tea, matcha typically tea. Japanese green tea. Green tea. Yeah, with yeah. juniper berries and a little bit of coconut. It's a very refreshing drink. Guys, I'm gonna be trying this out. Let's check it out. Achha. Usually green tea is supposed to be disgusting, but it tastes good. We, we did it. Yo, what is this? Decoration. It's decoration. Yes. What's happening? Why are people running there? Why are people running uh, there? There's some leisure introduction to the fountain show. So guys, when you dine here, you get a pretty cool experience. You know what kind of an experience? The Burj Khalifa light show. So guys. Econ, they're literally having a light show or a laser show. Burj Khalifa, I can't take it, they're projecting the lights. And trust me, it looks so beautiful. Like, even in corner, take it, like, there the water is coming up. And shate shate, there are lasers being projected, lights, sound design, it's so beautiful. And imagine doing all this while eating really, really good food. Oh, appetizers. Some appetizers and this dish is literally mind-blowing. What's it's a beautiful it Beautiful crispy brioche with tartare of beef and truffle. Okay. One bite snack. Let's try this out. One eternity later. Guys, imagine you have the mall director Dinesh Trader and you have the view as well, Shamne, and you're eating. First day you have the bread, it's like toasty, and then meat does it. it's tartar meat. Tamane, it's kind of like pura kacha. So it's really fresh. And you go through a crunch and then it's savory. So it's brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Well guys, these are tacos but made from potato and inside to the taco shell we have the pulled beef with some onion. Oh, okay. It's good. Not as good as the last one we had. We are buns with Wait, those brioche sticks? We had brioche sticks, but that was insane! Now, everyone oh. knows uh, edamame. We do it a little bit different. Edamame is steamed, but we spice it up for you. Okay. But I know in Bangladesh you like spicy food. Yeah, we love Enjoy. spicy food. Guys, I'm okay, I'm not sure. Like, eat a bowl of fata. So, edamame, what's edamame? Motor shooty or something. Oh, mm -hmm. guys, it's basically motor shooty, I think. But it's a onik chal. Let's Shona try video, this. But... I don't want to eat this too. You can. No, no. It's organic. You won't die. <laughs> it's not that spicy. It's just a little hot. You find this spicy? For us, it's spicy. You're another level. <laughs> It's really good though. It's hot, but it's up to a level where you really enjoy it. And it's not killing you. And you won't shit blood the next day. This is a signature starter. The Scottish salmon with a jalapeno mayonnaise and negi oil. Negi maybe you know as the long onion. Oh! Scallions. Scallions. So guys, these are basically salmon. And then you have sauce made of scallops. And there are drips of jalapeno sauce. So I have to take a little bit and mix it. Yeah. Yeah guys, let's do this. Oh, yo, more than the salmon itself, I think 
the sauce is really strong like it has a kick and it's very fresh more than the food itself it feels like art when you're having it it's so beautifully designed and mm. it's simple food but it really touches you it's pretty nice i like it guys these are the wagyu sliders right wagyu sliders nice leveled with white cheddar cheese caramelized onions sorted mushrooms and a little bit of truffle it's so small but it's so I cute to smell it and you smell it Oh, I think more than the wagyu, like the buns, the butter, the entire oh, thing, the love, everything. Let's try this little cuties. By the way, if you're into wagyu beef, you might do wagyu beef. Ki jano na, it's basically gorutai. It's been grass-fed in Japan. It's been brought up in such a way that tastes good. Let's try this out. Like, check the view. Look at the color. It's before we get to the wagyu beef, the bread is really soft. It's buttery. When you bite into it, it's fluffy. And the beef, I wouldn't say it's on the spicy side. It's rather on the sweet side. And the molten cheese on top, wow. There's caramelized onions too. Yum. And this is chicken karage. Beautiful tender chicken fillets. Beautiful with the crust and a spicy mayonnaise. Oh, I have a question. Yes, please. So we just came back from Japan. So over there we had karage. Like they have a lot of karage. Do you think yours is better? I think we are as good as the Japanese. I don't know if it's better, but really? as good, yes. Because what we do, we get the best produce from Japan to here. So it must be the same, right? Oh, so they buy everyone, guys. <laughs> they buy everyone. <laughs> This is the chicken karage and we got the spicy mayo over here. We want to baby this thing up with this and let's put this bad boy in our mouth. One eternity later. Japan's karage is better. But this chicken karage is really good too. But Japan's one's better. Sorry my guy. But yo, it's really good. These are cute little pieces of chicken. Oh. Whoa, what is this? Actually, it's a maki preparation right. with salmon and avocado and on top a lot of crispy potato and beetroot. Oh! Guys, basically under all this, there are maki rolls. There's a crisp from the potatoes and the beetroot. It's phenomenal. So guys, right now we have the main course. Basically, this is baked sea bass, and then we have like a ginger sauce. I'm not sure how that's gonna be, but it has some very nice toppings on top. But for starters, we're gonna try the sauce. Ginger usually tastes disgusting, but how does it taste good? Oh, check this. This is like baked sea bass fish. Now wait, let's put this in. Tastes like chicken. That's a really good thing, guys. Because you guys know I I don't like fish. I mean, Jani, matcha baat hai banga, lekin to our matcha to bhal lagen again, Jani. Chha, wait. We have to try it with the sauce, guys. Oh wow. More than the food, I think it's an experience because you have different types of sauces which you really wouldn't imagine was a sauce to be turned into a sauce. But you, I'm gonna have a big piece now because I'm hungry. Oh wow, what is this? This is rice cooked to perfection with wagyu short ribs, mushrooms. Oh, this is simplicity to the finest. Oh wow, guys, this looks really good. Like this is literally wagyu beef, chate rice, and the entire thing is like a rice pot. Yo, look at the mushroom, it's really cute. What mushrooms are these? Uh, shiitake, shiitake and erinji. I haven't heard of erinji, but wow. Guys, by the way, I want to try it with the wagyu beef. Let's try it. The meat with the sauce with the rice going in, Woo! it just packs a ton of flavor. It's sweet because of the caramelized mushrooms and the intensity of the beef. Wow. This is a small barbecue presentation. This is also Wagyu. Yes, Wagyu, but this time glazed drips with pickled onion with a great gochion sauce. As you maybe know, nice taste of peppers, there's soy, there's salt. Is this like gochujang sauce? Yes. Like indeed. the Korean one? Yes. Okay. With oh, the okay. Japanese passport, a visa. 
Is there jalapeno? More like a pardon pepper, it's not spicy. Guys, this is the Wagyu ribs. It looks amazing. It's been glazed with the gochujang sauce. But guys, let's tear this bad boy up. Oh wow, wait, it's already torn, guys. Let's take this piece, it looks really good. We're gonna put it on top of our rice, but before that, there's one thing I really wanna try. The sauce on top, okay? Oh wow. There's a strong essence of black pepper, which is heavily prominent. But let's try this entire thing with the ribs. That's what you expect from Wagyu because you expect it to be very tender and there is flavor from the gochujang sauce. It has this overpowering pepper. This is a sauce which has a lot of pepper, soy, stuff like that. So let's put that thing in this. Let's go. The soy, definitely the soy, very strong. Let's put this in this. Oh. It's really hot. Jhal jhal hot now. It's more, rather than spicy, it's hot. There's a punch and boom. It's really good. Like just this sauce, it's really thick. I wanna take this home. No. Oh, whoa, what is that? This is called balloonium, beautiful apple with some malba cream. So I think of uh, peaches, combination with strawberry and some crumble. This is strawberry coulis, like a nice thick and cream of strawberry. The fun part is crack it with your spoon so it breaks open. Really? So you have the crisp and the soft part together. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, we got a bit of the crispy, we got a bit of the smooth. Now, the next thing. So, this is our oishi chocolate. Oh, that's hazelnut crumble on the yes, side. Yes. Oh wow, the layer is coming off! And there's even some gold. Oh, it smells really good! Is that gold? Yeah, gold powder. Gold powder. Yo! Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this is gold! Let's try this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh. Yes, wait, let me get some gold. I got some gold on the side, guys. It's so good! I didn't know gold tastes this good. I'm not allowed to scream here, but it's like a big Ferrero Rocher, but much better. It has the hazelnut, it has the chocolate. Yum! Guys, let's just try the gold. This is the gold, guys. The grand finale. Not your everyday coffee. We're going to prepare a very traditional uh, coffee brewing method. Okay. So this is the siphon, basically a vacuum pot. So what I'm going to make, a very nice fresh brewed coffee from Burundi, smell it. Pretty strong. Single origin, yeah. So what we're going to do is heat the water. It evaporates to the upper chamber. By keeping the heat on, it will stay on the upper chamber. On that moment, we're going to put the coffee in and we're going to let it extract. And when we believe the extraction is right, so that's uh, let's say around 40 to uh, 50 seconds, we take the flame out and because of the cotton filter here, yeah. the particles will stay up. The coffee will sink down and in the bottom chamber, you have a silky smooth cup of coffee. And this will oh. go in your cup. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> We're about to try it, it's super hot. It's a bit pure. It's like a tea actually. It's like a tea. I'm really used to garbage coffee. It's different. Yes. Like, it's strong. It's a bit bitter, but it's smooth. So this has been more than about a culinary experience or like about eating. It has been like a experience for me. Like, it was insane. It was not just food in my mouth. It was food in my eyes. It was food in my nose. It was food in my ears. Kampai. Oh! <laughs> Feels like I'm in an anime, guys. But guys, I love this place and this is it. By the way, if we hit 3 million subscribers before August 6th, we're giving away two iPhone 14. So till then, make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And this is Rasmus Chirab. I'm bringing justice to you guys. The morning vlog, just like this. I have an outro. Whoa! Bye-bye. <laughs>